In this tutorial, you'll learn how to configure policies for your JumpCloud managed devices. Within your JumpCloud admin console, navigate to the menu on the left. Click Device Management, then Policy Configurations to see a list of existing policies configured for your directory. JumpCloud's policies are templated commands and scripts that enable you to manage policies across Windows, macOS, and Linux devices. To configure a new policy for any of these devices, click the plus sign in the top left and select the operating system. In this demonstration, we'll select Mac, although the same workflow applies for Windows and Linux. A slide out menu will appear from the right hand side, allowing you to choose a multitude of policies. In this example, we'll enable a File Vault 2 and a lock screen policy to an existing Mac device. If you haven't added any devices yet, check out the videos on adding devices. Starting with the lock screen policy, search for the policy and click Configure on the right. I want to set a lock screen of 30 seconds and apply it to my Mac devices via the Mac device group. So I'll configure the parameters within the Details tab, then navigate to the Device Groups tab and select the Mac device group to apply my settings to all of the devices within this group. If you haven't set up any device groups yet, check out the video on creating device groups. Once you're happy with the configurations of this policy, hit save in the bottom right. The policy will be received via the JumpCloud agent for each device and begin to apply within 60 seconds, so long as the machine is online and reporting properly to JumpCloud. We will repeat this workflow for the File Vault policy as well. Back on the Policy Configurations tab, click on the plus sign, select Mac Policy, then find the File Vault 2 policy. Configure the policy, apply it to the Mac device group, and hit Save. We can now review the status of the policies either by looking at the status tab of a specific policy or by taking a look at a specific device. Looking at our Mac device, we can see that the lock screen has been applied, but our file vault policy will require a full logout login in order to fully apply. Once completed, the file vault policy will be enabled and we can check the recovery key via the link inside the device details pane for this device. Taking a look at the policies tab for this device, we can see that both the file vault and lock screen policies have been successfully applied. Repeat these steps for any policy you'd like to apply for your Mac, Windows, or Linux devices. Check out additional videos and knowledge base articles for details about device policies.